I, I hope this mic is at the is actually in the right place i've been trying to test it make sure that the sound like the other thing with these mics like how do you know that they work like how do you know because there's no button that goes green or red or anything like that and i am forced to work with them to to, to use them um but anyways hello guys welcome back to my amazing amazing channel this week this is a very highly anticipated video highly requested video i've been wanting to do it like some of the footage from this video i actually shot like probably four or five months ago because i've had those up uh, so we're gonna talk about that gallery wall that is in my hallway that you guys see there um so i've had i've shot i've had that gallery wall for about four or five months now but i have not shot the video of how everything came together and all the detail if you follow me on instagram you know that i have told you where i got the frames and whatever but i never got into detail because i knew that i'm gonna make this video which will be more detailed that's why we have this youtube channel so that um we are you know we get into detail with everything okay this is this was probably the easiest fastest um uh, uh, thingy uh, project that i had to do but it's something that i've always wanted to do and this is something i've always told myself that in my house i'm definitely going to have a gallery wall like i don't care a family gallery wall is going up i don't care okay um so yeah definitely definitely and it's also something i um i recommend to my clients as well like to have somewhere in the house a hallway is always a good uh, a good space to have a family gallery wall because it's like you pass your hallway like so many times a day so you want that some you know that's like a very sentimental thing to be somewhere where you can see it the most or most of the time because you don't want your gallery wall to be like hidden in a corner in your house you want it to be somewhere where you will see it more more often than not you know first of all i like a family gallery wall for two reasons why it's a great way to fill up an empty space or an empty wall in your house and two it has that sentimental warm fuzzy feeling that it gives to a space right so that's why i always told myself i will have a family gallery wall in my house okay so um some of the walls that you can you know uh put to this family gallery wall just to give you guys some ideas because i know that our homes are not the same they're not made the same and you know we put things in different places but because you understand the whole point of a family gallery wall you want to evoke those very sentimental you know feelings you always want to put it somewhere where you can see it like i chose to put mine in my hallway uh when you're going from the kitchen to the bedrooms because that's obviously we pass there every every day so you want it somewhere where you can see it more often than not because you don't want to hide your, your your gallery wall you don't want to put it in a corner somewhere dark where you barely even look you know you want it somewhere where you know you can see it as because you want those feelings to feel those feelings every day and it's something to remind you sometimes like if you're married with kids you can have your wedding pictures in there uh with your kids and your family like ev everyone who's close to you you can put it there and you know just like people you love that are obviously give you that feeling or just the reminder that you are loved or there are people that love you so some um some ideas of where you can put it in your in your in your house is the hallway like i did with mine it's in your bedroom usually in your bedroom i always recommend to my client that we uh we put it by the reading nook um obviously by the reading nook you don't really have a lot of space because it's a nook right you don't really have a lot of space so sometimes it's like three pictures or four pictures right another place the way um a family gallery wall usually works is between your dining room and your living room right usually if you have like that space in between where you can just you know because obviously with the open plan concepts or that our that most modern houses have uh there's always the like obviously we have zones um so in between your di your dining um area and your living area there's always that that wall between the curtains that also is a place or a space in your house where um a family gal a gallery wall um can work but obviously because our houses are made different um um you know the structure of our houses or the layout of our houses are made different you you know you can 
can put it in a different place in your house actually comment down below if you already have a family gallery wall in your house and let me know where it is in your house because i know that there's different places it's such a beautiful idea to actually fill in an empty wall right okay so now let's get into detail with mine where i got everything you guys know i will tell you everything okay where i got what how i did what and how much it was ready Okay, let's go obviously the design or the layout of your family gallery wall will depend on how much space you have right i like the three by three designs um there's you know where you have three six nine we have nine thingies where you have nine um pictures or you have nine frames but you can also do a four by four you can also do a three by four there's really different ones i will put somewhere in there the different designs um i mean different designs will work for a different space or wall space as i've said for a reading nook sometimes you don't have that much space so you can do just like one line we have one two three right it's still a gallery wall it's still a family so the wall. frames are all from mr price home um, all the frames are from Mr. Price home. I will uh, 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 um, think of the size here of the, the frames. I got the frames. There is nine of them. And I got the frames for 109 rands, 110 rands each. Okay. Put the price on that. And then the pictures, I decided to go with black and white. I printed all the, these are pictures that I took with my phone. I use an iPhone 12 um, and I, um, I went to photo first and they printed all the pictures for me. This is very easy. You take the frames that once you go to Mr. Price and you buy the frames, you take that exact frame to photo first so that they can see, uh, you tell them that I want to put it on this frame. Um, and then they will print it for you so easy um to put it together obviously i'm gonna show you guys this is how you put everything together it's very easy to put the picture in a frame i don't need to take you guys through that process but I, this is how i did it <laughs>
top of i really like the idea of gallery lights like i really like it i'm not sure if i want it though um because in my mind i was like this wall is small it's gonna make it look too busy but like deep down in me like the design i have in my mind really really had those gold brass um gallery lights right so with gallery lights it's really nice you can put it i think they really work so nicely if you have a bigger wall um so you can put two or three like on top of each frame you can put a gallery light that works really 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 well what you can do i think this is something i'll probably convince myself to do if i do uh convince myself to put gallery lights on top there i will take you guys how to do it because i know people usually worry about putting lights in their home because oh we need to do cubing you know electric plug points and stuff like that but there is a way i'm sure you, i've seen it everywhere especially on tiktok a way to actually use the battery operated um lights right you can get them on um on take a lot um, um so there is a way so if i go around and i convince myself to actually put gallery lights i'll definitely take you guys through that but for now i'm happy with how it is right so you have your frames if you choose you can put gallery lights i did not do that because i thought the space was quite small and i did not want to hog it right okay so but what i told myself for sure for sure i'm doing is to put wall molding oh my gosh this was such a beautiful beautiful choice i am so happy with this choice because for me um what i take wall molding as it's a way to decorate a wall and the wall as much as it's decorated already filled already with the frames the bottom there was quite empty so i'm sure you guys know this guy this is the same guys that i used for my um my tv wall i called the guys in i was like let's do this so that they can kind of frame that empty wall to make it look to give it that luxe look and give it you know that elevated look and guys this made such a huge difference just on my hallway and it was so nice and also because it kind of continues from the dining room all the way to the hallway so now it looks so much more elevated i was so happy i was like you know i was so happy with this decision i am very happy with it um so um the guys um charged me 2.5 for that i think um but obviously um, um prices for the wall uh, for the wall molding depend on the size of your space so for that put a price on that um that was 2.5 and that's how much i spent in total um for everything and now my hallway feels so much more warm and cozy and sentimental and it's just it's just amazing i'm not done with this hallway i am also thinking of painting my um my doors there's a reason wait don't attack me don't attack me there's the reason why i don't um the reason why i th i'm thinking of painting my doors is because i really want to put I give them a little bit of color because that contrast between the white walls and you know that colored doors they just make so much difference i've already i already have so many ideas but now i'm not sure if i should go with the black or should i go with the sage green vibe because i do want to kind of break that white um but i'm not sure i'm still undecided yet but i think that's like another project that's in the works that i'm gonna do come 2023 that i'm really really excited about i'm even thinking of changing my doors to those more elevated looking um you know uh, uh um, um bedroom doors that's definitely a project for next year so comment down below and let me know which color i should go for for my doors black or a sage green okay so yeah and the other thing and these are really small projects but they have such a huge impact in your space these are definitely projects that i'm so excited to go to get into and um, that is it for today i hope i did not meet anything i hope i told you guys about everything and where i got it and how much it was um if you are looking for the guy that does the molding you go directly on my instagram there's a link in my bio you click that link that will direct you straight to our whatsapp number okay 
so yeah um i hope i told you guys everything um i think i've covered everything uh don't forget to give this video a thumbs up drop a comment down below and let me know what you think of this beautiful beautiful idea uh to fill in an empty wall space and i hope this gives you an idea as well if you have an empty wall space that you have no idea what to do with until next time thank you so much for being here i love you for being here see you next time